Hey, what's up guys? It's Pure Voices here, and this is episode 2 of GTA's Got Talent. And let me tell you, this one was very hard to put together. Anyway, the uh, singers here on the left, and the beatboxers here on the right. Let's go ahead and get two of the beatboxers up here. Uh, Grabbing Booty and Old Man Jenkins. Can you please get up here real quick? Oh, fuck. Okay. Uh, you want me to go like in the middle? Just both of you get right here. Okay. In that circle. Perfect. Great. <laughs> How are you? Okay, I'm going back here. This perfect. How are you guys doing today? you guys doing Doing tired. Doing terrific. Okay, grabbing booty. Tell me a little bit about yourself, please. Um, I like to grab some booty. Okay. Um, um, I am 16. Okay. And uh. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. All right, uh, how about you, Mr. Old Man yeah. Jenkins? He was in Minecraft's Got Talent before. Oh, okay. So, uh, I've been beatboxing since I was six years old. Right now I'm, uh, 13, and I'm going to the American Beatbox Championships for beatboxing. Well, congratulations. All right, let's go, th go ahead and start this one off with you, Mr. Jenkins. That was amazing. Great job. All right, how about you, Mr. Uh, Graham Booty? Show us what you got. <clears throat> yeah, I've been beatboxing for seven months, by the way. Awesome. <laughs> Great job. That was very amazing, both of you. Uh, however, we are going to have to choose one of you to leave. And the one that does leave has to go to the uh, audience. Alright, let's, uh, let's go ahead and start the judging with uh, Mr. Ara here. Who do you choose, reasons why, and give him a strict rating. Well, Pure, first I want to congratulate them. They're both amazing. I hope okay. you guys know that. Um, the one thing, one thing I have to say, well, actually, no. First, I'm going to say who I think should go through, and yeah, who shouldn't. First, I think it was honestly close. Jenkins, I think you should go through, though, because your beats were a little more like, they're cleaner, and it's like more like, a, wasn't all over the place. Grab booty, yours is still amazing, trust me, but it just felt like to me a little more over the place. But the thing I liked about Grab Booty's a little more was that he added a couple extra stuff that I liked, as in like certain sounds. Not much of a beatboxer myself, but I liked the sounds that he, like the bass, he added bass. He added that cool transformer shit. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> the, only, the only advice I can give Jenkins, because I think he should go through, is that add like. A little more variety to it, you know, like maybe they'll say bass or like some cool sounds like Grab Booty did. All right, thank you for that. So you uh, passed to Mr. Jenkins, correct? Yeah, yeah, Jenkins. Is uh, I did not get a rating number though. So, oh, you want a rate out of one or out of ten? Yes, sir. For the winner or both? <laughs> for both. All right, Grab Booty. I'll let give you seven and. Um, Jenkins, I'll give you an 8.5. Thank you. Well, that's a pretty good rating. All right, uh, Smoke, can you give us uh, your rating and judge and everything? Yes, well, I agree with Ara a lot, what he said. I do like uh, the fact that uh, Grabbing Booty actually added a lot of variety to his beatboxing but i have to say jenkins i felt his a lot more i was a lot more into his beats 
when he was doing it, and I could just tell he's have quite a bit of experience doing it. <clears throat> so I'd have to say Jenkins to go through, but I, I guess I, I agree with what Ara said a lot. That uh, no drinking on the stage, please. Jenkins, Jenkins, you should, uh, if anything, add a little more variety to it. But you definitely have great beats, and I was definitely feeling it. Okay, one to ten there on both of them. I would say Jenkins. I'll pre give you a nine, and I'll give. Uh, <clears throat> hey, vocalist. <laughs> All right, great. Um, my uh ratings there a hundred percent go to Old Man Jenkins. I did feel he has a lot more, although he can put variety, as both of you did say. Uh, Booty, you're just fine too, but you did not make it. I would go ahead and give you a 5.5, .5, and I'd go ahead and give Jenkins a 9. Security, you know what to do. Congratulations, old man Jenkins. Booty, come back anytime. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright, can I go ahead and get two singers up here? Just, just Pebbles and Rise of Honor. Back there's fine. Hey, the next guy who loses, can I pistol whip him? No, 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 the security's supposed to do that. You, you so badly want to, don't you? All right, how are you both doing? I'm doing fine. Uh, okay, you're pretty scared, but yeah, um, uh, Mr. Honor, can you please tell me a little bit about yourself, please? Oh, I'm 12. Um, I've been singing in the shower since 7. All right. I'm very excited for the competition. That's good. I, I like hearing that. Okay, um, how about you, Mr. Pebbles? Um, don't tire yourself out there, buddy. You've been dancing since the beginning. <laughs> Pebbles, I can't hear you. <laughs> Is he okay? Hold on. Pebbles? Uh, you need uh, Pebbles? Oh, my mic was off. Do you need medical assistance? My mic was off. Oh, okay. Okay, Pebbles, tell me a little bit about yourself. I am, uh, I am 17. I live in my mom's basement. I jerk off the Call of Duty every night. Mm hmm. And, uh. <laughs> yeah, I, I sing to my cat like every night. Okay. You sing to your pussy every night. That's sweet. Okay, can we go ahead and start this one off with you, Mr. Pebbles? Okay. <laughs> Rack City, bitch. Rack, Rack City, bitch. 10, 10, 20 on your titties, bitch. 100 deep VIP notes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Get you, uh, Can I go and stop you, uh, Mr. Pebbles? <laughs> honor! Honor! Security! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Honor, can you show us what you got, please? <laughs> you suck! Honor, please show us what you got. Yeah, and there's no interruptions, guys. There's no interruptions, guys. Honor! <laughs> okay. Here we go. Okay, just give me a second. I gotta breathe. Um. <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> Becky, look at her butt. It's so big! <laughs> 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 um, I take it... From the looks of it, that both of you did not make it even close. There was no, there was nothing there. Look, I think, I think that Pebbles did something though, he did more. He did, but he was killed instantly. Apparently my, uh, security did not like it. Okay, hey, can you guys not talk at the same time, please? Quiet, quiet, quiet. Hey, shh. Okay. Alright, can I go and get the last two beatboxers up here? Beatboxers up here? Those two beatboxers. Who's Echo is that? I call it Anarchy. Anarchy. Tazergy. Tazergy. Tazergy, fix your mic, please. Fix your mic. Porn! I'm gonna check their mic. It's Echo. My controller is about to die, so i make this quick. Alright, how are you both doing? I'm good. Did you just call me? Did you just call me? Oh, Red Hot Sisters Mike is doing it. Oh, Red Hot, fix that, please. 
Mr. Bass Cannon, tell me a little bit about yourself. I, hello, I am 14, um, from New York. People actually think I am not, I'm actually a black kid. Okay. <laughs> I'm pretty good. All right, uh, Azard, tell me a little bit about yourself. That was interesting. Alright. My name is Azergy. I'm a security, we need security over here. Been beatboxing for seven and a half months. Uh huh. And yeah. Alright. Let's go ahead and start this one off with you, Mr. Uh, white Suit. <laughs> Alright. All right, great job, Azergy. Uh, Mr. Bass Cannon, show us what you got. All right, that definitely was pretty good. That beginning, the end, yeah, I don't know. We'll see what the judges have to say. Mr. Ara, who would you choose? Reasons why? Give them their rating. Jesus. Who's mic is that? Well, white suit. There's a name. What I have to say is that what's it? Wait, okay, I don't know their names. They're just a show. Anyway, stuff. So. Azergy? Yes. Hi. Right. So, Azergy, it was very good, except I felt like it was a little, a little oh. kind of all over the place. It was, okay, Jesus, I hear myself again. That mic. All right. So, it was kind of all over the place. It was still pretty decent, though. I'm not like. I'm not the like okay yeah it was it was good but I mean it just felt like a little all over the place it wasn't as clean as I would like it to be Mr. Bass Cannon on the other hand I actually felt like it was a catchy beat I liked it it was clean the beginning was sick as fuck and uh, yeah I just I don't know I just liked Bass Cannon's a little bit more um I would have to say Bass Cannon I'll give that a 9.5 uh, Azergy I'll give you a 6.5. Okay. Just shh. Okay, um, uh, how about you, Mr. Uh, Smoke? Alrighty. Well, uh, you guys are both fair contestants here. I think, uh, Azuji, you're pretty good, you know? I can see that you've been practicing and, you know, you're doing the best you can, but, uh, tend to be muffling a little bit more than, uh, I would like, but... You definitely are giving it all you got, you know, you do the best you can, you know, or just quit, you know, whatever you feel like doing. <laughs> Bass can out of the hands, got a fucking pretty sick beat going. Stop. <clears throat> yeah, I love the intro. You know, he did good and all, but uh wish he wouldn't have stopped in the middle of it because someone talked. But other than that, I mean... Everything seemed pretty fucking smooth. It was a beat I can go along with, and that's what I look for. Something I can feel, and that's something I can feel. So you uh, passed Mr. Bass Cannon? I would say yes. I will pass Mr. Bass Cannon. Okay. Oh, damn! <laughs> what? <coughs> Wait, why did they both just die? Like the winner is genocide. Yeah, yeah. Oh, right, why are you throwing so much garbage everywhere? Just fucking go away. It's grabbing, because he's fucking... Drinking and that, drinking. that was so old. That's been there, and you guys just realized that. Come on, how blind can you guys be? 
<laughs> Alright, here we go. Alright, now I'm gonna make my decision. Alright, Mr. Uh, Base Cannon, that was that was pretty good what you did there now that I, I've forgotten what you've done because we've been fooling around all this time. Anyway, yeah. <laughs> yeah, Base Cannon, that was pretty good. Azergy, that was good as well, but you didn't do as good as Base Cannon there. Base Cannon, what the fuck are you? Call this the T-Rex. Oh shit. Yep. <laughs> Thank you, security. <laughs> All right. So as we know, the uh, two singers, uh, they instantly got kicked out. They were must not have been good for any of us because security took them out right before they could do anything. All right. Anyway, can we go ahead and get the last two of the singers up here? How are you both doing? Hi. As we all know, Miss Miss Vocalist has been on at least two different. Uh, Two different videos. different videos. No, no. Okay, um, now. Red Hot, tell us a little bit about yourself. Um, well, I'm 17. I live in Kentucky. I've been singing. I was in choir three years in middle school, and I've been singing for about, I don't know, six years. That's about it. All right. Uh, that's awesome. Miss Vocalist, tell us a little bit about yourself. Uh, I'm a female. Security, get grab booty out of here. Go ahead. Um, I'm a woman. <laughs> oh, fuck. There you go. Ow. That hurt. That hurt. You did. Um, yeah, I'm 15. Um, I, I live in New York. I'm 40. And, yeah. Okay, awesome. Can we go ahead and start this one off with, if there's any fucking interruptions while they're singing, everyone dies. Okay, anyway, can we go ahead and get this one started with uh, Red Hot, please? All those signs right, in the I'm, background kind of suck. I'm just warning you guys. <laughs> I'm kind of sick. You're hot. <clears throat> and I'm really nervous, so I'm just warning you guys. <clears throat> Alright. <clears throat> yes, it's true, I'm not good at a one-night stand. But I still need love, cause I'm just a good girl And besides, I don't seem to go to plan I don't want you to leave the way you hold my hand Oh, won't you stay with me? Cause you're all I need This plain love is clear to see but darling, stay with me. Oh. Alright, I'll go ahead and stop you there. That was great. Okay, uh, Miss Vocalist, let's hear what you Wait, I have my mic muted. Okay, um. I'm singing Young and Beautiful by, uh, Young and Beautiful by Lana Del Rey, if you guys want to check it out, um, just so you know. But, um. Mm -hmm. Okay, I know I'm doing my guitar, but this is the first time I'm doing it with it, so don't judge me. But it's like. <laughs> Done it all. Had my say now. Diamond, brilliant, and barren now. Hot summer night, mid July. Crazy days, city lights, when you play with me like a child. Will you still love me when I'm no longer young and beautiful? Wow. Will you still love me when I've got nothing but my aching soul? I know you. Yes! Wow! That was amazing. Um, Honor, get the fuck off the stage! 
Okay, that was beautiful though, both of you. Um, hold on, I'm getting shot by cops, so we gotta... <laughs> <laughs> All right, both of you did, uh, both of you did amazing. Although I will say the second one gave me chills. Okay, um, uh, Ara, who do you choose? Reasons why, and uh, give them their ratings. Oh. oh, um, I'm a big Miss Vocal. Is that your name, Miss Vocalist? Yeah. Right, yeah, you're gonna be going. You're gonna be passed. Oh, Red Hot Sister, sorry. Um, vocalist, I like the tone and the song choice. Um, I like that nice little riff you did there, or run, whatever you want to call it. Uh, gave us chills. Really good. Um, so yeah, unlike beatboxing, I actually have, like, experience and know what I'm talking about when it comes to singing, and I honestly like that. Like, I mean, of course, Red everyone Hot, can improve, get back on the stage. Where but that just comes from practice, and honestly, point, that was I'm good. Dying, I like that. Dude, totally. Red Hot Sister, just, uh, uh just... sister, I think that's how I say it, yeah. Um... <laughs> That was, it was okay, but I mean, I just feel like you've had, you put no power into your voice. Shit, I'm falling off, sorry. I feel like you just put no power into your voice and like, I guess nerves came out or something, but I just, I don't know. Vocalist. Keep in mind she was sick. Alright. Um, and for rating, I would say Ms. Vocalist, I'd like to give that a 9.5. And I mean, shot for some reason, I don't know why. And uh, Red Hot Sister, I'll give um, a 3.5. Okay, can you get Hold to the on. middle of the stage again, please? Red Hot. Alright, uh, uh, Doug Smoke, who would you choose? I think that they both had very good singing voices. I thought they both did an amazing job. Uh, I, although, I think, uh, vocalists will pass through. Um, I loved how, I loved their song choice. I loved, uh, Adding of the guitar, it was just a great song and all. I think she did an amazing job. And I'll give her a 9.5. And, uh... Alright. Another contestant, I would say, um... She did good. I think, uh, what held her back was maybe her being nervous. And also being sick, so I would love to hear her again. In the future, maybe. But, uh, yeah. Alright. Probably, uh, seven. Okay. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and start the judging off with the first one, and I would definitely give her a, uh... Motherfucker! Okay, sorry. Um, her a, uh... A 4.8, or 4.5. Fuck! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Okay, anyway, uh, I definitely would, uh, my vote would definitely be Miss Vocalist. That song was actually made this whole thing worth it. That was amazing. Great job. And I definitely give that song a 10. As for uh, Red Hot, hopefully when you get better, you could sing for us again, and I'm sure it'll be a hundred times better. But the winner of GTA's Got Talent Episode 2 Singing Edition is, of course, Miss Vocalist. Congratulations, Miss Vocalist. Alright, can I get my fuck? <laughs> Alright, again, um, everyone knows the winner of the uh, singing competition is Miss Vocalist. Amazing job. Now we're going to find out who's the winner of the beatboxing. And Mr. Uh, Bass Cannon, is that the only sweater you could find? There's a lot of blood on there. Anyway, uh, let's go ahead and start this one off with you, please. Bugsy, be ready to knife him. Hey, can I be
fucked up. Go ahead, chicken. Why don't you just shut up? Shut up. Shut up. <laughs> Oh, fuck. Amazing. Uh, that ending performance was just a great. All right. Both shut up. Both of you did an amazing performance. That was great, but sadly, one of you. Motherfucker! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, R, will you start the judging for us, please? Alright, so... Now that all, that's all over and I can judge now. Alright, so, um... Both really good, except I'm gonna have to pass base cannon for a couple reasons. Jenkins is so fucking amazing, trust me. Don't let that hold me- oh, don't let this hold you back in any way. Um, what's it called? The reason I thought base cannons was better was because when I think of, like, beatboxing, you can get all like insanely like technical and awesome with it, like like Jenkins did. But I like when I hear beatboxing. I like it when it's catchy and it's a beat and it's like clean and it doesn't have to be intense. You know, it just has to sound like really catchy and like that's what I feel like beatboxers are like. Okay, let's get an example. So close to toast. He's not the best beatboxer, and people are like a bunch of beatboxers hate on him for being like famous, but he's not the best. But see, his beatboxing is. Catchy as fuck, which is why I like it. I'm not a fanboy. I just love his beatboxing because it's catchy. So I like catchy beatboxing, and that's what Base Cannon gave to me. So Base Cannon, I would like to give that a 9.5. Jenkins a nine. It was really close. Thank you. Yeah. Jenkins, you still did it amazing. Trust me. Trust me, you did fucking amazing. You did like technical shit. I've seen that shit on YouTube, dude. Like where some people just go crazy with it, and that's what you did. But I'm just more of like. An opinion of like catchiness over like technical or whatever you want to call it all right thank you for that um as oh, oh my god security okay okay just get on get on with it man can, can, can we just line up so i can do my last judging so i can get the fuck out? all right all right, uh, Smoke, can you please tell us what you think here? I think they both did an amazing job. I think it was very hard for me to decide. They both brought something amazing to the table. Jenkins got really technical with it. He uh, displayed a lot of skill and speed and accuracy, but uh, it just didn't have... Yeah, yeah, accuracy. It didn't sound muffled like some of the other beats. Like we're aiming. Today. Exactly. <laughs> but anyways, <laughs> cannibalism if I just eat this guy behind me. Right now. Anyways, I'm uh, really like um I came here to like like it boosts <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh, yeah, like, I, I lost my train of thought when people started talking and shit. <laughs> All right. I would have to say that it was a tough decision for me. I think uh they both were amazing at beatboxing today. They both, both, uh, they both brought something different to the table. I think uh, Jenkins was definitely going crazy with it. He definitely was displaying what he can do. But unfortunately, when I listen to beatboxing, I listen to something I can, you know, fucking really bang to, you know, really feel. And with his, it's just so, it's so fast. And yeah, you know, it, uh, he's displaying his skill and what he can do, but it's just not something I'm, I'm I feeling. I can do like... So much more, so actually. Fast. If you want, we so could do fast. like a third round. Uh, I mean, a second round. If you want to. But uh, I'd have round. to say, if I'm gonna, I'm gonna pass base cannon. I liked his better, the just what? for the fact that it was a um, something I can go along with. It was a beat I was really cops. feeling. So yeah, that's my judgment. I think I'm gonna pass uh, base cannon. All right. Um. Uh. My judgment is gonna go ahead and. Uh, 
I actually was for Old Man Jenkins on this one. But, judges rule, Mr. Bass Cannon did win this. Old Man Jenkins, I definitely give you a 9, Mr. Bass Cannon. But you... Mother! <laughs> he didn't die! <laughs> Alright, I'm done. <laughs> You gave your judging, I'm out. <laughs> Alright, I want to give my honest opinion as a beatboxer. Just <laughs> let him, can you let him? Yeah, give your, uh, give your honest opinion. Alright, I really think freaking Jenkins should have won this. Because beatboxing is not about like the sounds you do, it's all about like the skill, like the technicality. Like everyone has their own style, but I really think like... Everyone should respect everyone's style, but then, like, it doesn't matter about sounds, it just matters about the flow of the beatboxing. Like, if it yeah, sounds good... Yeah, we didn't good, say it was a sound. Three, no, I'm still talking. Am I not? But you're not making <laughs> sense. <laughs> Dude, shut the fuck up. I'm still talking. Thank you very much. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> you're not making <laughs> sense. You did not say what we said. You know you're what I said? Thing. I said, when it comes to beatboxing and flow, like you said, Bass Cannon had the flow and made it sound catchy as fuck. Like, I would like dance what? to that shit. I would dance to fucking I couldn't even dance to that. I was lost in that. You were lost in that? You would say that. Let's just put it this way. If they were both on a track, you know, I listen to dubstep and all that kind of shit. If it was fucking on a track in my car right now, I would have skipped his fucking song. I would have skipped fucking over his. His shit was too quick and too... It wasn't catchy. I would have just skipped over it. I could do that. something exactly. catchy because I because the past yeah, two we'll things I've done I've been you know, I've been doing do something catchy time. and then I got shit for it and now this time I do what I can do and then I also get shit for it well, like it's every time. Yeah, but you're you're I don't know if you're talking about comparing with people on here that's judged you before. You're talking about like real shit, you know? Maybe experienced judging it might be different, but it's just some kids over Xbox. I'm gonna go with something that sounds better to me. Like I said, his was catchy and what I liked, you know. Yours, yes, you de definitely demonstrated skill, but it wouldn't be something I want to listen to or bump in my car. I didn't really like, <coughs> I, like honestly, I, I didn't would just demonstrate. Take it. Other people took it. The yeah, I, I'll take it, but I'm saying, I like, I, I did, I, I didn't demonstrate skill. I demonstrated what was better to everyone. You see, your oh. voice is was correct, right? Because uh, when it comes to real beatboxing, and you see like things on YouTube with like 14 million views, you see people doing fast stuff, and that's how the guy got to the final, he did stuff what I did, he did like, uh, fast stuff, like, like something like that, and I was, oh god, someone just threw an airstrike, uh, well, as I was saying, like, <laughs> when it comes to that, it, uh, nowadays, like, I can make it sound better, I can make it, you can, you can bump to it and shit, but I, I honestly wanted to show technicality because of how it sounded and Whoops. honestly it shows the better person when it comes to that it shows what you can do and what you can do is better than if you could do it better Ow. than do it and you know what i'm trying to Ow. say like, <laughs> Ow. Ow. everyone's just ignoring you but i hear you thinking because right. yeah, I, I hear you. Ah! Oh, it's happened three times in a row yeah, i don't know I, that's why i said it was hard it was it was people. hard you know but He's like i said i oil. went with the way when I judged, I just went with what I would like to listen to, you know, as if it, it was in my car. If it was de demonstrating on YouTube, you know, like, of what you can do oh or something, God. you're going all out, then maybe you would have won, but I don't know. It's, I got killed. That was my judge. Fuck that listening to be shit. Okay, see, like, okay, so you can do, like, uh, technicality like you did, but add in, like, other, like as in add catchiness to it, too. Not, like, <laughs> Dude, you gotta keep that. You got hit with two fucking rockets. <laughs> Hold on. Oh shit. <laughs> oh, we're not good. We're not good. We're not good. We're not good. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> oh shit. Continue it. Alright. Oh shit! <laughs> 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 I think we gotta start over.